guys, how's it going? This is Sally at the She Shed Savage coming at you with another review and it's actually another dual review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Heavenly Maple Pancake and Heavenly Espresso, but it's only a 25 gram pack so I had it on this plate before I packed it so it's gonna look a little messy. So today's Teabacco Thursday so I figured why not do a, another Teabacco review. Also Narek the CEO of Heaven Leaf was nice enough to send out free samples during President's Day weekend back in February and I had promised to do a couple of reviews so I totally lost track of time. So I'm now just getting around to doing it. The Heaven Leaf Maple Pancake I did purchase myself because it sounded like such an intriguing flavor. So with this dual review, I am using my VZ Stainless Steel Tall right here. Um, and also my Matte Pear Simple Ball. Both bowls are Puka John ADP bowls from Gen 2 and 3. And yeah, I have a little packing video I'm gonna show you guys, so let's watch that real quick. All right guys, this is gonna be a quick packing tutorial of Heaven Leaf. Um, as you see, I have funnel bowls here. This is the HJ 80 feet bowl, um, Gen 2 and 3, I believe. I already have this bowl packed with Heaven Leaf. Whoops. And this one's ready to go. Since so a dual flavor review, uh, I'm gonna pack the second bowl on camera and show you how I did it. So, take your heaven leaf, and I'm just gonna empty it out onto the plate here to show you guys. Sometimes I use a spoon so I can make sure I get everything out of here. It's a 25 gram pack, so, you know, obviously you want every little bit that you can get out of it. And I love this packaging. So easy to deal with. Can scoop it out completely clean, totally good. All right. Okay, so I don't think I'll have to measure this out or anything because 25 grams honestly isn't that much. So if you get a sample pack and you try it, and you decide you like it, opt for at least a 50 gram so you at least get two bowls out of it. All right, so that's what it looks like. So you can see like the leaves are pretty, um, pretty uh, stringy and they're kind of big. It's gonna be hard to pack that the way it is. So what I'm gonna do This is actually the thickest syrup that I've seen on any of the Heavenly uh, tobaccos. Look at that. That's awesome. Good for you, Nerk. All right. So I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to chop this up. Just a coarse chop. I do about two or three pass throughs with a knife. What this is going to do is not only make it easier to pack, but it's also going to make it easier to um, distribute the heat throughout your bowl with the heat management aspect of things. You want everything to burn at about the same rate, right? You don't want little bits and pieces burning on one part of the bowl and not burning hot enough on other parts of the bowl. So I always recommend that you semi-dense Heaven Leaf. Um, you can start with a fluff pack and then just kind of tamp it down, add a little more tobacco, tamp it down, um, do it however you want. You could fluff this and be fine, but I found out um, and I've been smoking heavily for a while now, that the semi-dense pack works the best after you've coarsely chopped the tobacco. I think this is gonna be just perfect. Yeah, he ain't playing around. <laughs> this is definitely the thickest sugar syrup formula I've seen on any tobaccos. This smells so amazing though. My goodness. All right. That's about it. Trying to make sure there aren't any huge gaps here. All right. There you go. All right guys. So I'm just gonna go one at a time. So the maple pancake sounded really intriguing to me. Um, on the front of the packaging, it's a bottle of maple syrup with a 
Canadian maple leaf and a stack of flapjacks there. Oh man, that smells exactly like if you opened up a bottle of maple syrup and just inhaled. Like the Aunt Jemima, um, or any kind of natural like type of maple syrup. Also has a very um, subtle cinnamon nutmeg type of undertone. Yeah, um, it smells very rich. So yeah, all I'm getting is um, maple syrup, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And this, since I emptied it out on a plate, I'm gonna try to give you the best description that I can. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely coffee on the espresso flavor here. Um, it's a very pungent espresso bean type of aroma. Like if you walk into a coffee shop and you get a whiff. Also, there's like a chocolate type undertone. But this also smells very, very rich. I figured, um, why not do a dual review? Because with breakfast, who doesn't drink coffee, right? If you're over... 18 and you're successfully adulting most of us drink coffee so over here I have the espresso setup and on the VZ I have the maple pancake so let's do the maple pancake first and yeah let's talk about it a little bit As you can see, the cloud output is ridiculous. Heaven Leaf gives me such great clouds. It's so great when you mix these with other brands of regular tobacco. It just, man, if you're a cloud chaser, it just pumps out the clouds like it's a machine. So on the inhale, you definitely get the cinnamon and nutmeg. And on the exhale, you get like that syrupy sweetness in the background. And then you get a hint of the tea leaf flavor. Um, I believe this is a black tea in the maple pancake. It's crazy because when you smell it, the maple syrup smell is the one in the very front of the flavor. And that's the, the aroma that's the most pungent. But when you smoke it, the cinnamon and nutmeg flavors are coming through. Um, these bowls have been going for about five to 10 minutes now. And it's very impressive. This is definitely a flavor that I will be buying again very, very soon. Enough of my, my love affair with maple pancake over here. Onward with the espresso. And for those of you who don't know, I've worked at Starbucks off and on for about 12 years now. So I have a lot of experience as a barista. I pick up coffee flavors very, very easily. And I know how to differentiate between like different subtleties with different coffee beans. So any coffee flavor that comes out, I'm the first one to say, hey, I want to try that. So here we go. That's really interesting. The black tea leaves in this mix seems to kind of have a internal struggle with the flavor, the flavoring that was put into the tea leaves. So the flavoring is espresso. So it's gonna be stronger than your normal coffee type flavor, right? Um, I don't es expect espresso to have a sweet taste. Um, when somebody says espresso, I'm thinking bitter um, with a slight creaminess behind it. Um, a espresso shot is actually divided up into three parts. You have the heart, which is at the bottom. You have the body in the middle, and then you have the crema on top. And I'll put a picture of what a shot looks like on the side here somewhere. Um, to better explain, the crema at the top is actually supposed to give espresso a subtle sweetness because it's actually extracted from the oil on the outside of the bean of an espresso bean. Um, so espresso is never really too sweet, but depending on what type of bean you use, if you use a darker bean or a lighter bean, it's going to change the flavor profile a little bit. This definitely tastes like a very dark espresso bean, but I feel like the espresso flavor profile and the the natural flavoring of the black tea itself is kind of struggling for balance. I feel like they're both kind of fighting to see who needs to come out front and who's going to play second base. On the inhale, <clears throat> you get 
kind of like a tea leaf taste and on the exhale you get the little bit of sweet coffee in the background and it's like you get the little bit of bitterness from the tea leaves and the coffee flavoring if that makes sense so this is a very subtle flavor um i wouldn't say this is my favorite heavenly flavor but i would definitely get this to mix with other coffee flavors to add a little more complexity and to help with my cloud output heat res uh, heat resilience because as you can see i have four coals on each of these bowls and these are smoking beautifully uh, you could really pack on the heat with heaven leaf it is very very heat resistant as i've said in my previous video reviews of heaven leaf and i'm super impressed by the product that Narek puts out honestly like Narek. I bow down to you. We are not worthy. This is the best alternative shisha product out there on the market, in my humble opinion. You should definitely check it out. Um, you can go to heavenleaf.com and pick these up. Um, and Narek usually has some discount codes floating around. If I have a discount code, I'll put it in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's talk about mixing possibilities a little bit. So I would definitely mix the maple pancake with like a cinnamon with gum i think that would go really well with it a coffee like trifecta morning glory orange seville coffee um a jure barista's choice uh vanilla would go really well with it i believe and with the espresso obviously i would mix coffee flavors i'd also mix vanilla um, you can probably mix a little lemon or a little orange in there somewhere, but make sure to mix another coffee flavor in there um, Because it's not gonna be very sweet by itself So yeah, I hope that was informative for those of you who have tried heaven leaf um, But haven't quite tried these flavors yet or those of you who are new to heaven leaf and don't even know what the heck it is I'll be more than happy to share my knowledge of heaven leaf with you guys. So puff on um, hookah world and yeah, thank you again for watching. If you like this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed and um, hit the bell on the front page to get notifications of new videos. I upload every Thursday. Go join Hookah University on Facebook to um, see what's going on in the Hookah community. Um, the student body and staff are super informative and helpful and we're a really fun loving group of people. So come join us. And yeah, that was about it for today. Thanks for watching. She should savage out.